And joining us now is Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston, here to talk with us about the spirituality of aging, among other topics. And thank you so much for being with us, Your Eminence. We're going to ask you about some of the ideas you have about aging, but just a little bit of background. When you were growing up, did, were there any older relatives that had a particular influence you in the way in which you would look at aging? Well, my grandmother lived with us until she died, yeah. and, uh, and many of her sisters lived into their 90s mm -hmm. and were all very close to us, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so certainly their uh, presence in our life was a very important one. Sure. And, uh, what are some of the challenges and <coughs> benefits, perhaps, that you see that come from aging? Well, certainly the challenges are often health-related as people uh, kind of slow down and uh, aren't able to have the same physical stamina or mental acuity that they, that they have when they're young. But I think there's a certain peacefulness that can come with age mm -hmm. that uh, you put things in perspective. What when you were young, <laughs> thought it was so important and so crucial. Uh, in retrospect, you say, well, you know, it wasn't that important. <laughs> um, the certain wisdom that, that comes with age. That One of the things that uh, I notice, um, obviously, when I'm assisting in some of the parishes of the archdiocese is there's a lot of older people at Mass, and that's wonderful. What do you think about the contributions that the older people can make to the church? Well, I think that the, the witness of their lives, uh, I'm always very touched uh, when each year in the cathedral I have the uh, anniversary masses for the wedding anniversaries. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now the number 50 is the largest number, <laughs> but there's also you know, 60, 70, <laughs> 75. Yeah. Uh, of course, we're living longer and uh, and that means that uh, our elderly are with us longer mm -hmm. and have uh, a, a great opportunity to witness to their faith, which they certainly do mm -hmm. in an age where there's a lot of confusion about the meaning of marriage and, and uh, a lot of hesitancy on young people to take on the commitment of marriage to, for uh, our elderly to come together renew their vows after 50, 60, 70 sure. years of married life is a ter tremendous uh, witness to young people. And you can see it uh, on the faces of their relatives and friends that are there for that mass. Yeah. There's, yeah. uh Because uh, they know that the challenges that, uh, that these people have endured to be faithful to their vocation and to have a sense of vocation yeah. in their lives. And One of the... Um, things that we've been doing on this particular series is interviewing some of the senior priests at Regina Clary and then in the previous series we interviewed some of the elder Jesuits at Campion Center and we're gifted in the Archdiocese to have a number of older priests and religious. Uh, do you think there are special contributions that they can make to the life of the church? Well, I always tell our retired priests that, well, first of all, the help that they provide yeah. in the parishes. We have so many parishes now where uh, there's just one priest when sure. the past there may have been a team of three or four uh, and the retired priests are uh, helping out uh, so that a priest can have a day off helping with the funerals helping the Sunday masses uh, making such a, an extraordinary contribution but I like to think that even the priests and the sisters mm -hmm. who are unable to continue with the kind of active ministry that they had in the past, that uh, their prayer life mm -hmm. uh, takes on such importance in their personal life, but also for the life of the church, sure. because they become really a part of the contemplative aspect of our life. Right. That, uh, you know, we often think uh, of great success stories in people's ministry, but where there's real success, it's the fruit of prayer and the cross mm -hmm. in the life of the church. Mm -hmm. And so often it is our elderly priests and brothers and sisters whose lives of faithful prayer and sacrifice are making an extraordinary spiritual contribution mm -hmm. to the life of our church. Mm -hmm. Now, I 
the final mission for a Jesuit is to pray for the church and for the Society of Jesus. And as you said, that's just a wonderful, a wonderful thing for us and for the church. You know, one of the surprises that happened, probably many of the surprises, but in 2013 when the Holy Father Pope Benedict retired. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, can you share some thoughts on that event and how the Holy Father's decision might speak to older people? Well, of course, uh, I was shocked because, <laughs> like most Catholics, just never uh, thought that we would experience uh, the retirement of a pope. It yeah. hadn't happened for many, many centuries. He didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but you know, uh, as disturbed as I was, because I, I found it very unsettling, mm -hmm. uh, I had a trust in this man and knowing that if he had done this, it was the fruit of great reflection, prayer, and discernment. Mm -hmm. uh, Pope Benedict is one of the smartest people that I know. And mm -hmm. if he came to the conclusion <laughs> that this is what he needed to do and this was God's will, then, you know, I told myself, I have to accept this. And, and then, of course, in retrospect, seeing how uh, his uh, uh, stepping down allowed uh, someone with the charism and the energy of Pope Francis to be uh, chosen as sure. Pope has, has been a great contribution sure. to the church. And uh, even in the conclave, uh, without the retirement of Benedict, uh, maybe Jorge Bergoglio would not have been right. considered. He may have thought, well, he's too old. Sure. Uh, but Pope Benedict is now saying, well, even if you're older, there's no reason you, you can't be Pope because if you get to a point where you're unable to do it, then you can step down exactly. the way that I have. Exactly. So it gave uh, a lot of freedom mm -hmm. to the cardinals in the conclave to be able to say, well, you know, uh, age is a consideration, but it, we're not going to eliminate someone because of their, their age. Great. Thank you very much, Cardinal Sean. We're going to continue our discussion with Cardinal O'Malley in just a moment.